Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So, if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. So, yes, Bitcoin on the four hour. Um, we are, well, we basically swing a failure <laughs> under our major level of support. Uh, broke back above um tested into our basically le first level of resistance which uh coincides with these wicks and some other areas back here uh and are, are basically easing off from that area so what is going to happen now are we going to reclaim uh and actually have a four-hour closing candle above this uh around seventeen thousand six hundred dollar level in which case we can then look to the next level of resistance which uh is probably the most important one for us to overcome uh, this eighteen and a half thousand, as you will remember, this around twenty uh, one and a half thousand, maybe even twenty and a half thousand, if you wanted to call that the top of the range, and the eighteen and a half thousand dollar level is the sideways range we've remained in for the most part for a, a prolonged period. Uh, so obviously, to break back into that range um, would be would obviously be significant. Uh, it, it, I mean, purely on the basis, it's going to be a significant level of resistance. So, uh, so yeah, this whilst this level is not as important if we do get up uh, back up towards we accelerate to the upside towards eight and a half then that's where we could um we could see some we, we could basically see the forward check the back check and the paycheck to the downside uh, and then at that point uh, well at that point we just have to hope we just have a new a newly established lower range a like a lower value relationship to where we were um with obviously macro doing well at the moment for crypto to bounce around the same as it was before just at a lower price point um wouldn't be too unreasonable uh seen as we've obviously having we're obviously on undergoing a devaluation of uh, of crypto as a whole due to what's happened so um yeah uh 16 well this list of support to the downside clearly extremely important uh and then i would uh, i would hasten to say uh 18 and to the upside is extremely important so we could very likely have that two thousand dollar range for a bit of time and obviously for the bulls hope we break above for the bears hope we break below um, if we do go and look at what could have been what could have been, guys? What could have been if it wasn't for that fat, hairy prick? Um, what could have been? Uh, DXY, look at it, absolutely uh, uh, capitulating here, which is basically what we kind of expected if we were going to lose this support area, if we're going to take out these lows. Uh, we were expecting this. This is a major uptrend that appeared to be in the process of reversing. Um, and yeah, I mean, these are pretty... Uh, pretty uh, uh, bearish looking candles i mean the next level is basically where where our target was realistically so i do expect we've got a bit more juice left in this and then we are probably gonna bounce around here and then if we break below here happy days um maybe we can get above 80 maybe we can get above eighteen and a half thousand in bitcoin um however if we uh bounce off there and then obviously uh continue uh to the upside then yeah it won't be good but what i would look out for is a potential head and shoulders top so maybe we come down to test this uh, support area maybe get a bit of price action below it like this then we bounce back up we start to bounce back towards this this horizontal resistance we maybe get some price action above fake out a few people and then we come down and actually form the head and shoulders and then break below i mean it would look all very nice in an ideal world so that being said it doesn't mean we've got a bit more juice and then maybe we get some pullback um oil having a little bit of a bounce here no doubt of the back move off the back of no doubt off the back of this move down in uh, the dollar uh what is extremely uh, important here i think you guys will know that i've been saying for a while this 10 year has not been looking that bearish um which we do need this yield to rally this 10 year sorry the yield to for the, the actual bond prices to rally um and that is now what we've literally just got in a massive straight line this is is a pretty aggressive move uh well we've, even if it was the upside with the downside we don't have many candles like this at all and yeah i mean if we are at a turning point in inflation um or we're at least at a turning point in the fed's uh, willingness to fight inflation um either of those things being the case then yeah i mean this is looking like this could be the top and this is now actually looking like um it could be a top now it's actually looking more bearish than it literally did uh before well basically what was before the cpi number uh the cp line number the continuing propaganda index um so yeah inflation is the funny thing without going into it too much detail the thing what people the main thing people miss on inflation is just it's 
not only is it a manipulated stat, which I think a lot of people are coming around to the, uh, the around to understanding anyway, it's just that inflation is just it's a completely individual number to an individual person. The average person will experience way higher inflation than the actual statistic, and then a a, a wealthy person will in, experience way less uh, way less inflation, obviously, in the price of their living costs because they have assets that will uh, be increasing in price or be a hedge against inflation, and they also will be paying their day to day living costs that are inflating will be lo a lower portion of their overall income and what and what all and or wealth net worth so inflation is an is extremely individual number and clearly that isn't talk, spoken about because clearly the people that inflation is higher for are the people that uh, they basically don't want they don't care about they don't want we want to know what is going on uh, but anyway looking good looking good for risk assets here ironically the irony of saying that i mean obviously after all the years i've worked in finance the irony of saying that uh, basically bonds rallying is good for risk assets that just shows obviously the uh, 60 40 portfolio is done it's done and dusted uh all <laughs> the correlations have gone to gone to one uh but yeah so uh oil uh sorry gold as we would expect reacting to this uh coming into a pretty uh, pretty significant area um of uh resistance so we'll just extend this along yeah pretty pretty important area uh if we break back above here then uh yeah i mean maybe the uh maybe the bear market in gold is over however 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 if you want to look at it in a bit of a weekly um it ain't looking quite that spectacular is it it's kind of looking like we're just gonna end up with a sort of a larger range maybe we trade up here a bit it's not exactly the most bullying looking bullish looking formation at present if anything, this potentially looks a bit like of a a, a four check, a back check, and then a pay check. However, obviously, if we do break to the upside, break above these levels, then clearly that will uh, will look better uh, for the for the bulls. Uh, and then silver, similarly moving up, not quite not quite as aggressively. So the gold silver ratio will probably be moving in gold's favour at the moment. But silver has basically run into an important level as well, um, as you can see here. Um, so yeah, uh, looking. This is looking like a bit more like of a bottom though than what we were looking at in the gold price. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Ethereum Satoshi pairing just ranging between the levels uh, uh, quite nicely. I mean, this level and then back to this level, back down to that level, through that level to the next level, back down to the level below, and now trying to make our way back towards that level. So it will be extremely interesting to see at what point. Uh, if in the near future the satoshi pairing gets above this uh, resistance or back into at least this area or above it uh, because that will be significant i think in light of uh, basically the the price action of crypto as a whole for ethereum to uh, to actually be not doing so bad uh, against bitcoin uh, bitcoin dominance um yeah just kind of doing its thing grinding down as you can see uh support resistance um looking like it wants to try and make its way back down to support and the ethereum usd the ethereum dirty fiat pairing um yeah i mean this is at the similar obviously we know the ratio has, has recovered a bit this is at the similar level uh for bitcoin of eighteen and a half thousand where if it gets back above this uh, would be extremely good back above this air price action here this is the similar sim the similar sideways price action we had in bitcoin between eight and a half and like 21 or so uh so for us to basically uh get above and which we literally have actually traded above here uh quite crazily uh is that would actually be very good for ethereum and then it will have more of an ability to move up and that ratio will have an ability to move up but yeah um, but um, oh stocks you not know, look to stocks <laughs> stocks there we go looking great also though at a level of uh, resistance having to pull this is how uh, a while away we've been at these levels we're having to pull them across but yeah I mean stocks um, stocks uh, heading towards that four thousand dollar level we're talking about uh, in the S&P uh, so pretty significant level psychologically for the chart uh, and also if it takes a bit of time to get there we are looking at running into this downward sloping trend line which descending broiling wedges are on the on the balance of things on the balance of probabilities uh, bullish formation so for us to come and test the top of it um, especially if we are if we do it soon so we are above 4000 then um, yeah i mean we could break break this out and then we are bull rally is bull rally resumed potentially uh, heading back towards uh, all time high so uh yeah <laughs> there's all there is all to play for macro is obviously changing here 
Um, I mean, regardless of what the Fed uh, wants to do and what an inflation numbers are, we are getting to the point where the Fed can't do a lot anyway, and is looking for any real reason to uh, to deviate from its uh, its its, uh, its stated trajectory. trajectory. So uh, these inflation numbers are obviously making uh, obviously giving the Fed uh, that potential ability to break less things going forward. So yeah, that is about it, guys. Um, oh, let's look at stochastics. Uh, four hour uh, got plenty of room to run here. Uh, Twelve hour turning up from a low level, which is good because uh, we do want to get we do want to at least to come and try and test eight and a half, even if we get rejected. We want to get higher and then maybe we get supported by the uh, basically the resistance level right now. Maybe we get an old support, new resistance. Sorry, old resistance, new support uh, at 17 and a half thousand, which should be good. And then maybe we can ultimately then break the 18 and a half. Daily still, though, look down. These are not going to look good, though. Down, buy daily down, three day freshly turning down. Five day actually, though, now uh, was turned down, but isn't actually now. So that has got obviously. Uh, a little bit of uh hope involved there similarly with the weekly and bi-weekly is actually low at a low level looking to turn up at some point so and then we've actually got more of that curvature in the monthly so obviously this, this five day weekly and monthly all look slightly better now we're at 17 and a half ish thousand and they're going to look a lot better for 18 and a half thousand uh so maybe 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 the lower is in if we get above 18 and a half thousand these stochastics turn up from this even lower lower level for some and also basically low level in price action in price alone uh then yeah i mean it is a possibility the bottom's in like i said macro is looking good looking like it has turned a corner uh so yeah i mean it's the strange stranger stranger things have happened remember it is always darkest before dawn all right we're on a, we're on a monthly that's why <laughs> i wonder what's going on there here we go uh so yeah that is it guys remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon